Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and today I'm going to walk you through the osmosis lab. Sometimes people call this the potato lab. And so what you need is a potato. Um, you need a potato coring device so we can get a similar amount of potato in each one. Um, I use a razor blade to do much of the trimming. I also need six different test tubes. These six different test tubes, you can see that I've already labeled them. They've got my name on it, and then they have the different concentrations of sucrose. And so we're going to start with zero molar sucrose, which is essentially distilled water. We're going to go 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and finally we're going to work our way up to 1.0 molar sucrose solution. So the lab is pretty straightforward. We're going to put potato cores in each of these. We're going to get their mass uh, today, and then we're going to let it sit overnight, and then we're going to get their mass again tomorrow. And we're going to see what happens, cha what changes we see in the mass of the potatoes over time. Um, so this is what you'll use. Make sure you put your name on it. Also you need a sheet of paper. That's going to have uh, your initial masses today. And then you'll need to share. I've made a bunch of uh, sucrose solution for the class and so you're going to share that. It's really hard to pour out of these Erlenmeyer flasks and so what I'll do is I'll put a little beaker in front of each one. So essentially you go from the Erlenmeyer flask to the beaker and then from the beaker into each of your test tubes. So let me show you how to, um, I'll just set up one. I won't show you all of them but I'll show you how you would set up just one test tube. So what you're going to use is a potato um, and we'll use a potato core. So what you do is you push like this through it and then you're going to go all the way out the other side. Don't ram it into your hand because you could cut your hand with it. And then essentially you push it like this and the potato core comes out. So I'm going to do another one of those. Uh, you'll probably have to use a couple of potatoes to get all of your cores. So you go like that. Pop that out. All right. So in each of the different test tubes, we're going to put two potato cores. And so the best way to do this, let me see if I turn it this way, is to, uh, since we have six different test tubes, you're going to put two in each. What I would do is punch them all out, get them roughly the same size, and then you can trim them because we want them, we want to get rid of the skin. And so you can imagine if I had 12 of them, we would trim them off. And so they're all going to be roughly the same length. We're looking at the percent change in math, mass. And so if they're not exactly the same, that's okay. So you would cut them all off, and so these would be my potatoes for, uh, or my potato cores for the zero mils or zero molar water. Um, I'll then take a scale. So let me zero that. So we'll zero that, and then I put my two potato cores that are going to go in the zero molar solution right here. And so I write down their mass. So today they are eight point seven nine grams. I'm going to, before I forget, put those immediately into my zero molar test tube like that. And now I'm going to add some of that distilled water. Um, so there's some parafilm on the top. Make sure that goes back when you're done because we'd hate to have us lose water so evaporation could screw us up. And then you're going to use the corresponding beaker and then we're going to fill it up. So I'm going to fill it up like this. You want to make sure as we fill these up that you cover the potatoes uh, and that it's the same in each of these test tubes. So we're going to have about the same volume in each of them. Uh, to cover it up, because if we don't cover it up tonight, there's going to be a lot of evaporation of the water. And uh, so we're going to use parafilm to do that. Uh, parafilm is like a wax. Uh, you always cut way more than, way less than you think you're going to need because you stretch it over. So you essentially hold it on one side like that. You wrap it over the top and then you can kind of heat it up with your hand and, uh, and then it'll keep the water inside there. So this is our zero molar uh, potato cores. So we're going to put them like this. We'll go through all the other ones. Remember you're going to put a different sucrose solution in each of those. And then uh, after we've got their mass today, we're just going to wait 24 hours. And after 24 hours, we're going to dump out the water and remass each of those potato cores. Um, this lab is super easy. You'll always get perfect data as long as you don't mix up which of the potato cores is which. Um, and so what are we looking at? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take their mass today, we'll take their mass tomorrow, and then we're going to see their percent mass change. In other words, how much they change. You're going to have some that get a, uh, a positive percent change in mass and some that get a negative. And so I'll show you a little formula for how you do that. Uh, but I think that's pretty much it. Um, so I hope that's helpful.